Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. We are putting in this temporary water tank. The family out here, their well went dry. I'm setting up a temporary system so they still have water supply in the house. We're gonna review how to do that type of system. If you're on a well and it happens to go dry and you run out of water for your household, the question is, how do you get by until you can get a new, new water supply, new well drilled or a cistern installed? And what we're doing here is just setting up a very temporary system. We're using a 550 gallon tank. We're putting a concrete insulating blanket around the tank and strapping it to it. Um, and that's just because it is winter here in Ohio, there is a, a potential for this tank to freeze. We're just taking every precaution we can in getting them a temporary water supply. So here we are wrapping the tank, um, and we're getting ready to set up the pump for the system. This is our uh, just a traditional cistern pump. This happens to be a Franklin C1 series. Um, you can also use our Springer series traditional uh, cistern pump and what we have on it is a, um, a reducing bushing uh, it's inch and a quarter threads coming off the pump but we want to make it garden hose thread so we put in uh, two stage of bushings with a garden hose adapter on top and that is uh, that gives us a three-quarter inch male garden hose connection point, and we're going to thread our garden hose to that. And then on the side, we put in a normally open float switch that's wired into the pump. That will turn the pump off if the water in the tank gets low, uh, which will, of course, prevent damage to the pump. And over here, we are starting to cut back some uh, UF wire, um, we're going to splice that wire into the three bare leads on the top of the pump. Um, and that will provide power supply. So we're going to run that wire back into their house and wire it into their pressure switch. Now that we have the pump plumbed up with our bushing set and our adapter for three quarter inch garden hose, we're going to actually thread that red garden hose onto the top of the pump. Ordinarily, we use an RV potable grade hose, but in this case, they wanted to just use the garden hose that they had at their house. They didn't want to spend the money on the RV hose. So uh, we're going to just thread this on. That'll create a nice flexible piping that will allow us to simply set that pump inside the tank. I got the hose hooked up. Uh, now I'm going to drop this pump in and snake the wire through the bulkhead on the tank. Okay, so we got the pump now set inside the tank. You can see uh, a couple chlorine tablets too. Those are those two white tablets there. And then you'll notice that we put the we made sure to orient the pump so that that float switch is away from the wall of the tank so it doesn't get caught up in the against the wall of the tank there. Um, and then we just simply run that wire through the bulkhead as well. And you'll see uh, that we're, we spliced it to that UF cable um, that will now run inside the house um, for a nice, secure electrical connection. We're going to clean that up in a little bit. Um, but then we just simply run this wire and water line through the deadbolt of the house so that they could keep that door closed. We wouldn't have to drill any holes. Um, again, this is just to get them by for a few days. Uh, we're running this hose all the way inside to their pressure tank. And then on their pressure tank themselves, we used a swivel garden hose adapter. That's three-quarter inch female by three-quarter inch female garden hose threading. And that would allow us to tie right to that hose bib on the face of their pressure tank, the tank tee. Uh, most tank tees do have a hose bib. Um, and then in terms of the wiring, we just disconnected the wire from their old well pump. 
Um, we, we took that out. So the, the panel is still supplying the pressure switch uh, with some power. And then we brought the, the wiring in for the pump that we just put in that tank. We wired that up to the pressure switch instead. And we made sure to match the voltage. So if you have a 115-volt well pump, you need a 115-volt pump inside that temporary tank. So we wired that, that pump into the switch. Um, and once we get water in, we'll kick that breaker back on, open that drain valve there um, at the bottom of the pressure tank, and they will have their water supply. We just flipped the breaker on, open this valve right here, and you can see pressure building in the, on the pressure gauge. Just filling this tank, the pressure tank, like it normally would in a, in a standard well operation. And then uh, once it reaches a high pressure point, it will, the pump will cut off. The pressure switch will cut off the pump, and it'll be good to go. They got water again. <laughs> 